Hello YouTube. Welcome to this little uh, video. And uh, welcome to any new viewers. And uh, today uh, we are going to Lisa Button, which is one of the very unique roads that we have here on the southwest coast of Norway. So we are a little bit further out and this is one of the uh, cabin areas up here. So there's quite a few people who have uh, cabins in this area. And, and the roads here are starting to get a little... Oh, sh that was sheep, yeah. That's another thing. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's sheep in the road. And they like the road because it's it's warm, so they tend to they tend to lie on the road. If you come here, you can just park your car, say, at a stop like this, and then just walk wherever you want. And that's one of the things about Norway is that everyone is permitted to go anywhere. Uh, in in what is not uh, private land and in most cases wherever there is private land uh, you have sort of right away so you can you can uh, pass through it to get to to where you want to go all right the roads up here they're quite fun to ride you got anything from a blind corner like this to nice sweeping high-speed corners which you're not allowed to go house high speed in so I mean I would really really love to film the whole thing but that would probably be more than an hour long video and, and no one's gonna watch that all right so we're coming up to where you go to the Lisa button and now we're gonna we're gonna turn off this road to the left as you can see it's uh, 31 kilometers pretty much down to the ferry terminal and now for the roads turn to this narrow and kind of treacherous as, uh, as people get killed up here every year uh, because uh, obviously well, some places there are barriers not everywhere so I mean uh, like I said I would really like to show you this entire route but if I do then there's no reason for you to come here so I gotta just show you some of the some of the good parts and uh, and try and tempt you into get him to come up here what we're gonna do is that we got a little place that we're gonna stop I keep saying we because uh, there are two other guys with me but they insisted that I was gonna be leader so they're behind me <laughs> so we're gonna make a stop here and when you're here uh, you kind of feel like you're on the top of the world see I'm not alone so there we have the Eagle's Nest a lot of parked cars and up to the left here is where the uh, this is where you go to the uh, Sherag Rock, the boulder. And this is kind of where the hairpins start, but the uh, the main hairpins aren't until after that area down there, after the eagle's nest. So that's kind of on the top of the whole thing. Looks like there's some construction going on here. I hope they're not going to change the road. Well, it's just another, probably just another parking area. Because this area is really popular. 
Okay. So there's a bus. Stay on the white line here. It should be fine. Well, there is there is an, uh, a bike parking here. So, uh, so there's actually, we have our own little area to park, which is just behind that overland bus. Oh, okay. So here we go, MC, motorcycle parking. Let's see, I can probably just squeeze in here. So I'm out in the balcony on this uh, eagle's nest. Down there is the ferry terminal. We're going to go down there eventually. There's a, a new hydro power plant that they're building. And here we have a taste of the hairpins. All right, time for hairpins. Finally managed to get behind my friends. <laughs> so obviously it's quite steep here and uh, I recommend you to use a low gear as it says here. 10% low gear. Uh, I was here last year riding with a uh, with a guy who was on a uh, it was a 1500 cc uh, Suzuki uh, touring bike, one of those one of those things that are built for American highways, not for this. And uh, about two thirds. Two thirds down, he ran out of brakes. Because he didn't use the gears, he was braking using his front brake. So, two thirds down here, he, uh, he ran out of brakes and crashed. And the next day, someone crashed in a tunnel down here on a bike because there's a tunnel with a hairpin. Now, who puts a hairpin in a tunnel? Well, obviously the Norwegians do. <laughs> so obviously, if you don't like low speed with high lean angles, this is not the place for you. I will say though, it's a lot more fun going up than going down, because uh, now you got to sort of trail break into every corner and uh, and when you go up you uh, you get to like properly accelerate out of the corners so I don't have any idea how many how many corners there are but uh, it's many And the view, if you got time to take in the view, is actually quite spectacular as well. I mean, I'm pretty much in second gear and I've, I've been in second gear since we started, so... Just use the brake a little bit to control the speed which is what you need to do here so uh, yeah here's the ferry ferry terminal and this is uh, where you basically can uh, take the ferry to Stavanger if you want to 
but we're just going to head right here and uh, and park. Okay, my friend, want to go left, so we're going to go left and park. Here you can see the view from the bottom of the fjord, which isn't too bad. And those mountain faces here are about 1,000 meters high. All right. We're ready for the hairpins going up. So, on my bike, this is pretty much just second gear all the way. see much. So here we have it, this corner, and you think it might be 90 degrees, but oh no, it just continues, and oh, we have an accident, or <laughs> yeah, so you see the, the turn just continued. Gonna pull aside or something? Probably not. And there's another car. This is messing up my whole experience. This is the rock face that the guy hit last year. So pretty much when he got here he lost his brakes. out for the cars
it's intense. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. Wow, there's a lot of people here now. back home now and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video from uh, Lisa Fjord and uh, Seardal and uh, if you uh, if you plan to come here maybe maybe this uh, help you out in, uh, a little bit so uh, if not I uh, just hope you enjoyed the video so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos from this absolutely gorgeous area that I just happen to live in.